Hi guys, my name is Sahar Batty and I'm your current winner of the British Women's Pilot Association Capital Plan Scholarship. I'm so excited, I still can't believe this is real, it's a pinch me moment. Um, I don't, I'm not usually that lucky, so I've obviously done something right for this to work in my favour. But seriously, this couldn't have come at a more perfect timing in my life. Um, quick little background, I've always loved aviation from as far as I can remember. My father used to always take me plane spotting ever since I was a little child up over at Heathrow Airport. It was at that moment I knew I didn't want to do anything other than flying planes. I was always just really curious, you know, being a little child. Um, so I actually graduated in 2019 on the commercial pilot course over at Buckinghamshire New University. Um, it was here where I actually gained my private pilot licence and my night rating um, over at Book Booker Aviation, Wickham Air Park. Um, probably the best experience of my life and I just knew this is something I was going to love and just want to do for the rest of my life. Especially the buzz of flying at night is just crazy and it's just such a thrill. Um, so after 2019 graduating, I was offered a job role at the flight school uh, working in operations. It was here where I was responsible for the day-to-day -day flight scheduling um, and liaising with the air traffic control, ground staff and the um, en engineering to ensure the flight school was running smoothly. This was definitely an eye-opener to see what goes on behind the scenes. So being a student and now working as a staff member, um, it was quite nice to see um, the operations and how it comes together as a whole. Um, it was here my passion for instructing definitely grew and um, unfortunately this is where the Covid pandemic kicked in um, in 2020 and it was quite sudden because where I was making quite nice progress um, with my uh, aviation career at this point I was not only working um, as an operations staff but I was also progressing onto my hour building uh, over at Blackbush so it was working quite nicely but suddenly everything just had to stand still um, and it was just a waiting game to see how quickly the industry would progress and when the industry and the flight schools would open up again so instead of waiting around i was looking around for jobs and i was really fortunate to be offered a job um, to work in the cargo sector so i this is currently what i do i work in swissport um, imports and exports dealing with the cargo so i work directly with major airlines to coordinate and facilitate the transport of air freight um, i'm also responsible for checking dangerous goods shipments and ensuring that they are um, uh, a yata regulated and up to airline standards um, it is a fantastic job and where the industry had slowed down very quickly um, it was where I realised how massive the cargo sector was and if it wasn't for the cargo sector honestly we don't know how um, how much the industry would have suffered on an economical level. Um, so we were very busy throughout the pandemic where we were transporting a lot of you know PPE and other you know shipments in and out of the country. Um, it is a fantastic job and I've been able to see a different um, side to aviation as much as I love this job. I still can't see myself doing anything other than flying a plane and I think I'm very fortunate for actually staying within the industry um, where a lot of people weren't able to. Um, this has definitely helped um, the passion and the drive within myself to just continue and pursue the career. For me, I was always self-funding, um, so it was always going to be a slow progress, but where I was making that nice uh, consistency in the training, um, it was quite hard to then face that reality of, you know, um, being stood still and essentially not knowing where to move forward and how to progress. Um, so I was quite fortunate again, as I said, working within the industry and just seeing um, aviation open up again quite nicely. I feel like this is the perfect time for the scholarship to land right in my hand and I'm so grateful honestly to BWPA, the staff, the members for, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I've also been very fortunate enough to build my aviation network. I always say aviation is a very, very small community. Everyone knows everyone. So if you get yourself in, um, especially at the right time and get yourself definitely talking, communicating, networking, um, it always helps and I definitely feel like uh, I'm very fortunate and um, I can't wait to just carry on. So the goal is to now continue my training, get on with the uh, uh, the theory exams. Once I've completed the training, um, my goal is to fly commercially for a long haul airline one day, um, but also pursue flight instructing. I would love to give back to the community and where everyone's been so generous and 
um, offered their assistance and support and provided their insight and wisdom, I would love to give back and do the same to the community. Um, I've always loved to help out during open days and pilot career events and it's just so inspiring to see the next generation and how motivated and driven they are and um, I'm really fortunate I made this career step in, in aviation. Yes, there has been many setbacks, but like any industry, there'll always be setbacks. It's up to you and I to just, you know, pick ourselves back up and get back into it. At the end of the day, if you want something, you are going to go and grab it. You know, you will grab it. Uh, there's nothing stopping you. The only one stopping yourself. So um, I would really like to take this opportunity to thank the BWPA and to all the teachers, staff, lecturers um, for always consistently supporting me and encouraging me to just go out there and doing um, what I love to do. Don't let anyone stop you um, and just be yourself, you know. And yeah, thank you very much.